to another video. Um, it is Cobra Tom and Venom Lily. This is our new logo. Um, it is... My sister drew it. Um, she did all the writing. Um, she signed it on the back of it. And her name is Alexis. Um, she's a very good artist. Um, so, let's get to the video. Okay. Closer. There we go. We have the Arctic mind ben mind bender, um, and he has his pistol right here. Um, I don't know if you can really see it, but it's um, kind of like a normal pistol. So, yeah. Um, he has the laptop with the logo on it. Is it upside down? Yes, it is. <laughs> nice. Okay. Here is the laptop. Um, it doesn't have much detail on the outside. It has just really that. On the back of it, um, it has some little things to do on it. Um, kind of hooks onto something, I think. And then it actually opens, and there is no screen, which is kind of sad. I want a sticker to put on there, but I don't have one. And there is a keypad like the space and the keys yeah so I'm gonna set that right there and then I'm gonna bring him closer and I will take off the backpack for you sorry I have to get him out um so here is oops <laughs> there is a cord um nothing much really it's just kind of like a cord and then on the cord there is a gun. Um, I'm actually not sure which gun it is, but um, I think it's like a, an electrocutor kind of thing. Uh, so that, and then I'll bring the backpack close, and then you can see it. So there's the backpack. Um, it has red, purple and silver. Um, it is really detailed. It has um, some buttons that you can push uh, or pretend to push and then there's the little peg for um, the cord to go into. And then there's the back peg. Yeah. Okay. There's that one. And then there's this one from the Astro Viper, no not the Astro Viper, the Sci-Fi, and they look almost the exact same. Um, they are the same height. Um, the green one, or Sci-Fi's, has like, um, I'm not sure what that is, but like little pegs, I think. I don't know what they're for. Um, they have like the same, ah! They have the same buttons. And they both go on your back, but, um, yeah. I don't really know why they have the same backpack, though. So, um, yeah. So, this is the, um, vintage Dr. Mindbender. Um, so, it's a little different. It doesn't have, like, the coat that this one has. Um, so, yeah. And this one is from the 2002 one. You haven't even showed it. Okay. <laughs> and he is um, about the same. They're all kind of the same. They're all bald. They have the monocle. They have the mustache. Wait, no, this one does not have the monocle, actually. 
Yes, it does. It's very difficult Where? to see, but it's... Oh, it's... He it does. That's yeah. weird. Yes. So, all those years, he worked for Cobra Commander. <laughs> and Cobra Commander always treated him kind of poorly. And he was not always the nicest guy to him. So when it came time, he kind of got like sick of it. And he made, out of genetic engineering, Dr. Mindbender, because Cobra Commander was such a bad leader, he made Serpentor. And Serpentor kind of took over and everybody kind of followed his lead, but he was not much of a better, I don't think he was any better of a leader. And he was able to take uh, Cobra Commander and kind of take him out of the picture and rule himself. But later in the series, Cobra Commander was thought to be dead and when he came back there was a civil war and eventually he was killed leaving Dr. Mindbender to try to kind of make a peace with G.I. Joe and that didn't work out very well either because Cobra Commander then tried to kill Dr. Mindbender oh my. in, in the comics and for a while he actually was dead but they brought him back I don't really remember how that all worked, but he came back. Now, this particular Dr. Mindbender, if you remember, he might be in other things too, but if you remember, he was in the movie with Cobra La. And when they're out trying to escape G.I. Joe, he's wearing this coat because they were fighting in the Himalayan mountains and they were, it was very cold, so he was wearing that kind of jacket. Um, the jacket looks like if he was an actual guy and he was wearing this in summer, he would be sweating so bad, probably. But, um, because it looks really warm, like, he could survive in the winter, but he might need a little hat. <laughs> yeah. I have just one, and it's a very minor issue with this figure, is they've given him all these awesome accessories, but he can't hold them all. So what are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to just... That one I don't think fits in his hand. I think you kind of set him up by a desk and make him look like he's just working. Kind of typing. Yeah, but then why are... I'm not really quite understanding this. Maybe there's something I'm just not seeing. And quite frankly, it kind of looks a little bad. Oh, well, on my opinion, it looks a little bad with two guns in your hands. So I would think that he would either only use this one or this one. Yeah. And my other tiny issue is it, um, I can't really get this into this guy's hand. Unless he's... So, I just... I suppose you could have it like that. That doesn't look too, too terrible. In school they say don't carry a computer by like, like that, but I guess he can. He's a... Yeah. I mean, maybe while you're doing something like torturing somebody, I suppose, trying to get information from them is maybe not a bad idea to type in it. Um, so, um, I like his, if it was me, I would definitely wear his jacket in winter, um, but they, these two are, have same similarities and differences, um, so, they both have the same kind of eye patch, or not eye patch, sorry. Um, eye thing, I'm not sure how to say it. Monocle? Yes. 
that. <laughs> um, this one doesn't have a coat, but he does have the cape. With a very cool cobra symbol on the back. Um, they both are bald. Um, they have the different outfit. I, I'm not really wanting to say like the differences because they don't have the same outfit. Um, this one has gloves, this one doesn't, so, yeah. This one had standard articulation. This one, because of its coat, um, bends at the knee, but not very well, and does not even have, oh, he does, I'm sorry, my mistake. He doesn't have the swivel, or he has the swivel, but not the rocker in the foot. He does have, we take this out, this can stretch out his arm, go all the way around. He does have swivel arm battle grip. I hope you guys can see that because my hand's in the way. But no wrist articulation like some of the newer ones. Yeah, I can't get him to do that. But anyway, so I guess what, you know, this weapon here is for is to shock and it's an electro shotgun. And he would take somebody sitting here, let's just pretend. <laughs> and when he wanted information, he would either shock them, I guess we could put the gun kind of down, you know, and she would get like an electrical shock, or maybe it would just be something that when he walked in, it would be enough for somebody to to start talking because it's kind of scary. Yeah. So. So, right on his legs, um, you want to be kind of careful when you um, open them because, or try to um, put them on the stand because um, they're a little hard to move apart. Um, so, his coat might, for some reason, break on accident or something like that, or his, or, um, the waist piece might break because you op you his legs wouldn't move, so you might be you might want to be careful with that. He does have I forgot one more articulation. He does bend at the the waist and kind of do some ab, but I had a lot of trouble putting him on his stand, moving his legs like she was saying. The legs did not spread apart for me very well, so if you feel like. Um, that's not going to work. I would definitely just put one foot on the stand then. So, well, this is our review. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye.